I was reading the Bible in Greek and Hebrew and studying those languages, and Hebrew sort of led naturally into Arabic. I was also interested in student loan repayment. I, I owed a, you know upwards of $40,000 in student loans, which the Army promised to repay. The option available to me was to get a secret clearance and become an interrogator. And I agreed that this was pre-9-11. I didn't really expect I'd have to interrogate someone, or I imagined if I did, it would have been in a conventional war uh, where things would have been very different. I found out um, in April of 2003 uh, by a phone call. He said, well, the good news is, congratulations, you've been selected for promotion to Brigadier General. I said, well, that's good news. What, what could possibly be the bad news? And he said, well, the bad news is your unit uh, you'll be commanding is assisting the prisons experts with the restoration of prisons for all of Iraq. Um, and they're already deployed. And I said, well, can I go? And there was just a second of silence on the other end of the telephone. And he said, you want to go? I received a telephone call um, from a Mr. Saleh. He said, uh, can you help me? He said, the Americans took my money and they hurt me very bad. Um, and I just came from Abu Ghraib. He told me of one incident where, um, uh, you know, he was uh, stripped nude and um, they tied a rope to his penis with seven or eight other men. And then they would, um, these were American personnel, he's telling me, um, and they would push one man and all of them would fall and, and, and they'd be joking and laughing and mocking him. I would ask him, who was doing this to you, Mr. Saleh? And he would say, well, they were, there were two types of people. One was dressed some type of military personnel wearing the army. And then the other type would be in civilian clothing. I go, what do you mean civilian clothing? He goes, like normal pants, like uh, any normal pants and a normal shirt. So that's the first time when it struck me that there's another element being involved here in Abu Ghraib, another type of person there. كان يوم أحد يوم الثنيان كانت حالة من الفوضى ومن الإجراءات الأمنية الشديدة يوم الثلاثاء اللي هو يوم اعتقالي ذهبت إلى عملي مو عملي أنا يعني كنا في موقع عمل في منطقة الحصوة فأني أعمل في مجال الكهرباء تم نقلي إلى سجن أبو غريب في بداية عام 2004 باليوم الأول من الشهر الأول لعام 2004 كان أكو شخص مدني واقف بيتأمر يعني يأخذون أوامرهم من عنده اللي هم الشركات الأمنية أدخلوني إلى الزنزانة كبلوني وتم خلع ملابسي بالقوة يعني أسلوب من أساليبهم أنه الأرض التناسلي للرجل يلفون عليه حبل ويجروه هيك مثل عملية الخنق شنو الغاية من عدها شنو هاي الأبرة الضربونياها اللي آني هسه حاليا حتى أطفال مدى يصيرون أدي شنو الداعي لأنه جيش يستعين بشركات أمنية مدنية للتحقيق مع معتقلين بس أنا أقول شركتين مؤكدة شركة تايتن وشركة أي سي أي سي أي When I saw the photographs for the first time and I said to the commander of the Criminal Investigation Division, who was showing them to me, um, I said, why are the translators around the prisoners? Why, why are the translators in the cell block? And he said, ma'am, those aren't translators. Those are khaki interrogators. <laughs> 